Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Electrical Concepts. My name is Avigyan Roy. So in this video lecture, I will discuss how to improve KVA rating using auto transformer. Okay, so you must have studied the auto transformer. It is nothing but a transformer where there is no such concept of primary winding and secondary winding. Rather, there is a common winding between both primary and the secondary side. Okay, so there are uh, some advantages of uh, auto transformer auto transformer has also some disadvantages like it doesn't have the electrical isolation like normal two winding transformer okay but it also has so many advantages okay so here we will discuss some some advantages and we will also see how using auto transformer you can actually improve your kva rating okay so let's start so as you can see this is a two winding transformer or the normal transformer as you can see so here as you can see it is the high voltage side the primary side is high voltage side 200 volt let's say and the secondary side is 100 volt okay and the rating is 2 kva so it is a 2 kva transformer so for a rated load we can say the primary side current will be 10 ampere and the secondary side rated current will be 20 ampere okay so now we want to convert this two winding transformer into an auto transformer and we will compare okay we will analyze so now here we will discuss about three possible connections of auto transformers okay so now we will convert this two winding transformer into three possible auto transformers okay let's see <clears throat> So now as I have said in auto transformer there is no electrical isolation you also know that thing. So there uh, what happens there is a single winding which is shared by both primary and the secondary side. So in order to convert this two winding transformer into an auto transformer you can connect these two windings in this fashion. See here this primary side or high voltage side winding is given the nomenclature AB and this is CD. So now see here this is how the, it is connected the D point is connected with the A point okay and dot polarities are also given here. So now as you can see here from point C and from point B uh, between these two points we are applying 300 volt AC supply and that becomes my primary side or the high voltage side and from point this midpoint that means either point D or point A we are taking the secondary side voltage or the low voltage side voltage okay so low voltage uh, side means the voltage between point a and point b okay so now what will happen the moment you apply the 300 volt on the primary side see here this is how it will happen so this is the low voltage side winding as you can see from two or two winding transformer also at the rated case the voltage that appears across CD is 100 volt so here also uh, the 100 volt will appear and let's forget about the voltage drop that takes place uh, in the primary side and the secondary side so automatically here 100 volt will appear across CD similarly 200 volt will appear across AB why because see here across AB 200 volt is there so this is the rated voltage of this winding okay so 100 volt and 200 volt so all total it will be 300 volt okay so now the rated current is 10 ampere that means this 10 ampere amount of current can flow through winding AB see here same current is flowing uh, through the winding AB okay and through winding CD see here 20 ampere am amount of current can flow that is the rated one Similarly here also 20 ampere current is flowing. So here you are actually not violating the the values. Okay, here the rated values are only being used. It is not like the current value is exiting. Okay, it is not like that. So 20 ampere is flowing uh, through the secondary side winding and 10 ampere is flowing through the primary side winding. So that is okay completely. So if you apply KCL, so total 30 ampere a current is flowing at the secondary side or at the low voltage side so from here what you can conclude is see if you want to determine or if you want to find out the kva rating what we will do you just multiply the either 
द वोल्टेज एंड द करेंट ऑफ द प्राइमरी साइड और यू मल्टीप्लाई द वोल्टेज एंड द करेंट ऑफ द सेकेंडरी साइड आइदर ऑफ दिस टू ओके सो इन आइदर आइदर केस वॉट यू विल गेट यू विल गेट सिक्स के वी ए सो दिस इज योर वट के वी ए रेटिंग ऑफ दिस ऑटो ट्रांसफॉर्मर लाइक इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई थ्री हंड्रेड वोल्ट विद ट्वेंटी एम पेयर दैट विल गिव यू सिक्स के वी ए सिमिलरली इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी एम पेयर विद टू हंड्रेड वोल्ट दैट विल ऑल्सो गिव यू सिक्स के वी ए ओके सो नाउ एज यू कैन सी द के वी ए रेटिंग इज इंक्रीज्ड ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द पॉसिबल कनेक्शंस लेट सी अदर कनेक्शंस सी दिस इज दिस इज अनदर पॉसिबल कनेक्शन सी हियर वॉट आई डिड हियर आई जस्ट इंटरचेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ द वाइंडिंग सी हियर ए बी वाइंडिंग इज प्लेस्ड हियर एंड सी डी वाइंडिंग इज प्लेस्ड हियर सो हियर सिमिलरली थ्री हंड्रेड वोल्ट इज अप्लाइड इन प्राइमरी साइड बट हियर सेकेंडरी साइड इज हैविंग हंड्रेड वोल्ट एंड करेंट रेटिंग इज ऑल्सो नॉट वायलेटिंग सो हियर यू विल इफ यू कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट थ्री के वी ए ओके सो हियर ऑल्सो यू आर गेटिंग हायर के वी ए कंपेयर टू द टू वाइंडिंग ट्रांसफॉर्मर बिकॉज टू वाइंडिंग इज टू के वी ए इट इज हैविंग टू के वी ए ऑफ पावर रेटिंग ओके सी द लास्ट पॉसिबल कनेक्शन सो एज यू कैन सी हियर वॉट आई हैव डन हियर the cd winding is placed here and ab winding is placed here and primary side is this uh, so that means 200 volt is applied across a and b okay and secondary side is taken between terminal c and terminal b okay so if you calculate across secondary side we will get 300 volt why because primary is 200 volt if you apply 200 volt at the primary side so ab winding as you can see from two winding transformer ab is uh, ab winding has a rated value of 200 volt similarly cd winding has a rated value of 100 volt so you will get 300 volt all total at the secondary side and here if you calculate you will get 6 kva to be your power rating okay so now these are the different possible connections connections and for all the connections one thing is common and that is the higher value of kva so that means here your kva rating is improved so that is the title of this video how to improve the kva rating okay so it is 6 it is 3 it is 6 but it is higher than your 2 kva okay so now you may ask that uh, which one to use okay so that actually depends on the application uh, on what application you are actually uh, you want to use your auto transformer so now see if you want to if you want the maximum kva for example you have to use the option number 1 that means this one this one you need to use because you are, here you are getting 6 kva which is the maximum kva among all these three so there you have to use uh, option number 1 you may ask that from option number 3 also i am getting 6 kva then why is it not the reason being see here the two winding transformer is step down in nature it may be the requirement that uh, it must be step down transformer that means the auto transformer needs to be step down in nature you cannot make it step up so for that purpose you have to go for option number 1 okay but if you are if there is a provision that you can convert your uh, two winding step down transformer into a step up auto transformer then you can go for option number 3 because it is a step up in nature and it is also giving you maximum kva okay so that actually depends on the application similarly if you are asked to maintain uh, a fixed voltage at the secondary side okay so then you have to go for option number 2 see here here the secondary side is having 100 volt okay that means it, uh, the secondary side voltage is is fixed because here also it is here also it is 100 volt so if that is the requirement then you have to go for option number 2 but here you are, will not get maximum kva so actually it depends on the application okay and here i have all written the advantages auto transformer is used to achieve higher kva rating as you can see here and for same kva and voltage rating copper requirement for auto transformer is lesser than two winding hence it is more economical see here if you compare this two winding normal transformer with any of this three you will get to see the auto transformer is having higher kva rating but the copper requirement is same why because i am using this same windings here also that means the copper requirement is same 
and using that same amount of copper you are achieving more kva okay if uh, if i compare between two uh, transformer one is auto transformer and, and one is normal two winding and they have the same rating then we, you can indirectly say that auto transformer will definitely have less copper requirement okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video and please uh, like share and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and goodbye